Hello guys and welcome to the platform once again and um, it's the African Cup of Nations just um, got underway yeah, in Cameroon 2021 African Cup of Nations as you are aware was delayed as a result of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic situation that the world um, current is currently facing and um, I'm going to review the performance of some of the teams um, in the first round and already the second round of the games has uh, uh, kicked off and Cameroon thrashing um, Ethiopia 4-1 and if it happens to be your first time on the platform please do well to hit the subscribe button touch the notification bell share the program to as many viewers as possible smash the like button if you enjoy the presentation and then comment to agree or disagree with me in the comment box down below and then on facebook do well to please follow me and then uh, like as well as comment on the videos that uh, we post there and um, the african cup of nations uh, is a festival and an occasion for every african person uh, anytime it comes we are so much excited with it and i remember um, i've followed this um, tournament for more than uh, close to 30 years yeah close to 30 years when i was very very young <laughs> somebody who asked my age when i was very very young and now not surprising i'm in my 30s and still have so many history regarding the um, african cup of nations and um already there's been some fantastic performances from some of the teams in the first round of the competition the likes of um Cameroon uh, had a shaky start against Burkina Faso but ended up winning by getting two penalties to win against Burkina Faso and um, they had they even won their second game just prior to coming to studio to um, do work on this video as I'm doing right now and they have 4-1 win against um, Ethiopia and um, quite a fantastic performance there for the Indomitable Lions there the Senegals Teranga Lions also missed some players uh, as a result of COVID-19 the likes of Edward Mendy and some other few players and so um, Senegal barely didn't feature most of their key players but still it was enough for Sadio Mani's penalty to win the first game for them and so and Nigeria so far I must say it's been the impressive has been the impressive country with respect to performance what we see on the field playing um, out um, playing against um, Mohamed Salah's Egypt and um, had to pocket Mohamed Salah uh, the like of, of William Trust a con and then Kenneth Omerio had to pocket um, uh, Mohamed Salah. And Mohamed Salah unfortunately didn't get um, the way he, he didn't have his way with respect to how you want to play um, the game. Maybe in the second uh, games he will uh, uh, start scoring, but Nigerians really didn't allow Mohamed Salah. They know, obviously, they know when they allow him uh, an inch, he will expand it into um, a clear opportunity. And so they didn't even allow him to do or to move with the ball when even he gets the ball they i mean crowd him and uh, take the ball back other than that you know nigeria had to play with winfred indeedy midfield the leicester city midfielder and that what a fantastic goal by kelechi ehanacho yeah quite a beautiful goal there and um so so far i must say nigeria and then mali also defeated tunisia and, you know historically Mali uh, defeated Tunisia in the 1994 African Cup of Nations 2-0 in the first match and went ahead to place fourth um, in the um, Tunisia 94 at the own in the own at the own backyard of Tunisia. Mali defeated them 2-0. I remember that um, uh, Koulibaly, Suleiman Sangari, and Farouta, those goalkeepers there. I was very young back then in 1994, but I was watching it. I, I had to remember to sneak through the windows to watch it when I was going. Um, to school there. I had to get some time there to watch the games there. And then it was fun when it comes to African Cup of Nations. If even you don't love African football, and as, a, as an African, you, uh, you will understand what, what I mean when the African Cup of Nations is coming up. It's just like a festival. And so we're relishing and enjoying the competition um, so far. And the likes of Ivory Coast also won their first game. Max Gridel had uh, an excellent goal in the start of the game and um, Wilfred Zaha came in the second half the likes of um, um, their striker Sebastian Hala didn't um, really also have just like Sebastian Hala 
uh, likewise, like Mohamed Salah, Sebastian Hala wasn't given the opportunity by Equatorial Guinea to express himself. And so he ended up playing, but not even having his way to score. And so that was, that's how most of the teams are adopted. But so far, um, of the few teams, Sierra Leone also has been impressive. I remember drawing against Algeria and um, Trevor Chalova had to post to celebrate. You know, Trevor uh, is uh, an English now, but uh, he has his Sierra Leone route, just like Antonio Rudiger. And so they had to post their flag, the Sierra Leone flag. And I'm very happy and excited to see people like Trevor Chalova and Antonio Rudiger still following their route, though they are now Europeans. Yes, they are still following. They are, obviously, we know they are Africans, obviously, but hey, they, they represent, just like Marcel Dissay represented France, but he's a Ghanaian. And so whenever even you play abroad, just like the day are you in, um, uh, Jordan and you could have played for France. They were born in France, but they chose to play for Ghana. Uh, that doesn't take away the fact that they, were, they are French citizens. And um, that's African Cup for you. So much, uh, and was so far, the most disappointing um, team so far has been um, Egypt, Ghana, and I don't know debatably if you may add Algeria, because Algeria um, uh, really uh, uh, were very sad after drawing with Sierra Leone. And I must say, um, Sierra Leone is a good team. I remember during the qualifiers of, of stages of the World Cup, Sierra Leone had to come down from four goals down against Nigeria to draw 4-4. When the likes of Samuel Chukwu and those guys there had to bury them 4-0, they equalized all the four goals. And quite surprisingly, after the game, how the Nigerian players were bashed in Nigeria. That about this Sierra Leone, how they sat down for Sierra Leone to come back from four goals down to equal 4-4. And so Sierra Leone... Uh, they need to, to be watched out. They have a team in the, this coming three, four, five years. They worry so many teams in Africa. And so it's not disappointing at all for Algeria to draw with Sierra Leone there. Sierra Leone has got a good team. And lest I forget, uh, get not forgetting Morocco. Morocco also defeated Ghana. But um, I, anyway, I see that as um, some kind of a, a suicide committed by Ghana. Because um, though Morocco played, but I didn't see the, them so much dominant on Ghana. The only problem with Ghana was that Ghana lacked creativity in the final um, attacking third. That was the only problem that Ghana faced. Other than that, um, uh, Morocco wouldn't have defeated Ghana. So I want to see Morocco maybe in the group stages fine. The uh, Gabon and the uh, other teams, they will uh, negotiate their better. But in terms of out of the group, I would like to see um, Morocco better against the other teams and uh, so far it's been a festival and um, um, the European, European coaches um, with the likes to address the issue of uh, some European coaches trying to uh, disrespect the African Cup of Nations and um, I'm happy uh, Ian Wright has come out boldly to state that um, the African Cup of Nations should be given respect just like the other continental tournament and um, you, don't, you need, don't need to be an African to um, respect the African Cup of Nations and you need to just as we also respect uh, other continental um, tournaments. If it happens to be your first time of um, uh, joining me, please do all to hit the subscribe button, touch the notification bell, share the program to as many viewers as possible, smash the like button if you enjoy my presentation and then comment to agree or disagree with the comment box um, down below. And um, I would um, uh, like to have your opinion with respect to uh, how you see the African Cup of Nations so far, both on um, YouTube and Facebook. Thank you very much for joining me in this special edition as we uh, try to see how the teams will fare in the second match. It's Ghana and Gabon tomorrow at 10 uh, p.m. Doha time, and um, we will be watching out that before um, the following day, Nigeria uh, play their second, uh, their second game of the tournament. Thank you very much for um, joining us. Cheers. Um, I love you wherever you are. Bye-bye.